Yes. A lot of men can bear me witness in the comment section. You never dreamt you were going to marry. But it's this girl you met and you say, ah, <laughs> we move to the altar. You have to give people reason to make decisions. There are some things you never plan to do and you meet a certain people and you do it. They made you ready. There are some, there are some boundaries you never believed you were going to cross. Somebody made you cross it. Marriage is the easiest decision. Hi guys, it's your girl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time of coming across my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to comment below. Turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will be the first to be alive. But guys, don't forget to share the video. I bring out what is happening on social media. I bring it here for us to watch. So guys, I want to say a big thank you to my returning subscribers and for those that do support me i want to say may the lord almighty bless you all for supporting me i love you all see you next on my next video bye bye hi guys how are you guys doing um sorry i'm coming this late i like to do my videos by this time because i believe that by this time everybody's going to be relaxed on your bed feeling through their phones so how are you guys doing? How's your Monday? I hope you had a wonderful day. For me, my day was a bit stressful. So we're going to be talking about a very important topic today. And it's a topic that's going to interest a lot of ladies and a lot of guys. Because everybody actually thinks that it's impossible. So I'm going to be revealing a lot of secrets tonight or this morning. How to make a man marry you even when he's not ready. <laughs> a lot of people are going to be saying, Bless me, what are you talking about? Yes. How to make a man marry you even when he's not ready. I will teach you that. Don't worry. You know, Blessing CEO is um, your number one relationship and mental therapist. So I always have the answers to all those questions. All those questions that all your relationship therapists cannot give you. I'll give it to you. Don't worry. My name is Okoro Blessing in Kiroka, and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO, Africa Certified Relationship and Mental Therapist. A lot of you are going to be wondering, Blessing, you cannot keep a man that does not want to be kept. Blessing, you cannot make a man that is not ready, ready to marry you. It's not possible. It's possible. <laughs> very, very possible. Let's break it down. Before we quickly start, I want us to have an understanding. There's a difference between a man and a boy. So we're not talking about how to make a boy marry you. We're talking about how to make a man marry you. So before you want a man to marry, you must be first of all sure that you're in a relationship with a man, not a boy. Because a lot of you women are dating boys. So let's not contradict ourselves by you coming to say, oh, bless you. No, some of you are with boys. I will quickly break it down. Who are boys? Boys are young male children with manhood who are not ready to carry responsibility. That's the reason why a boy will always shy away from marriage because he is not ready to carry responsibility. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe Nepa. Hey. <laughs> A boy will always shy away from responsibility because boys are all about now. They are not about the future. So anything that is futuristic always threatens a boy, always scares a boy. If a boy hears anything that concerns the future, he runs. A boy wants anything that is happening now, 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 sharp, 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 sharp as they happen, as they happen. That's the meaning of a boy. A boy have only manhood to offer and they are all about now. But a man is a futuristic person. A man is that person who is willing and ready to carry responsibility. Because for you to carry responsibility simply means you are looking out for the future. So before we start this topic, we need to understand who you are dating. So that you not come and say, bless you, see you did not give me the right eye advice. Bless you, see you gave me. No, 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 no. Some of you are dating boys. So before you apply this method I am giving you, be very, very sure that you are actually dating a man, not a boy. 
I did not say how to make a boy marry you. I said how to make a man marry you. And I've been able to explain to you the difference between a boy and a man. Men are ready to carry responsibilities. Boys are just there sharing their manhood for you. They're not even ready for the future. They are all about now, now, now. How do you make a man marry you? There are some men that you see that have everything it takes. They have money. They have a good job. They are okay, and they don't want to get married. And you're asking yourself, why? This guy is of age. He's responsible. He's doing well. He's comfortable, right? Why does he not want to get married? First of all, I'm going to tell you why a lot of men don't want to get married. I will reveal that secret to you. It is not because they are not ready. It's because they are not sure. Many men are ready to get married, but they are not sure. Now, the problem is, the reason why a lot of men will not marry you as a woman, right, is because you yourself, you don't even know what you want. What does it mean for a man to be ready? For people to be ready, you must give them a good reason. Some of you women have made it difficult to marry you because a lot of these men don't even have reason to marry you. For people to be ready, you will give them a reason. There is always a reason behind a readiness. Without reasons, you cannot be ready. Before you make a decision, you would have seen reasons. Should be. You cannot just wake up. Good. But the question is, a lot of you women don't have any reason for women, for men to marry you. Ask me how. You give them everything in a relationship now. Why would they marry you? You cook for them free. You started having children for them free. They don't, they don't even need to marry you now for you to have kids for them. Everything that marriage is supposed to give, you have given it in relationship for free. So what do you think is going to excite this man or is going to make him to be ready? I'm not trying to judge you. No, we are not judging. We are just being realistic. Everything a man longs for in marriage, a lot of we women, let me put we because I'm part of the we. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of we women have given it to these men. That thing that is making a man excited to want to marry you. You have given it to him in the relationship. So what do you want him to marry you for? Because everything, the, every reason the Bible says a man should marry a woman, you have given them a relationship. So what do you want me to now come and marry you for? Now that is where it becomes difficult. That is the reason why it looks as if marriage is now hard. That is the reason why it looks as if men are now scarce. That is the reason why it looks as if you cannot make a man ready. No. The reason why you think you cannot make a man ready is because you have given him everything you are supposed to give him in marriage, in relationship. That's why even you as a woman, you believe you cannot make a man ready. Because you know that you don't have any other thing to offer him. That's why all of you are saying, blessing is not possible. It's not possible. Uh -uh. It's because you know within yourself you've given him sex. You have cooked for You've done everything you're supposed to do in marriage, in relationship. Now, it becomes difficult for we women because now we have to do more. Before, if you can cook, a man will marry you. Before, a man will marry you because he's anxious to know how sweet you are in bed. Before, a man will marry you because you have good character. Before, a man will marry you because he wants to keep you in the house. These things that make men marry us, we have given them a relationship. Now, that is why the marriage is now hard. That is the re reason why making decision to marry us is now hard. You now have to do more. What is that more you now have to do as a woman? You have to give them a reason to marry you. Since you have given them sex, you have cooked for them, you have cleaned for them, you have done all those things Bible says we should not do in relationship. There must be a reason why a man wants to take it to the other. That's where it becomes difficult because a lot of women have exhausted what they are supposed to do. Behind every readiness, there's a reason. Why should a man marry you? Before I continue, I want to ask you that question. If you're on this live video, I want you to ask, ask yourself that question inwardly. Why should a man marry me? If you're in a relationship, you're having sex with a man, some of you have already had kids for the man, some of you are cooking, you are doing all the wife duties. Why should a man marry me? Have you ever asked yourself that question?
Now, that more becomes your brains and yourself. Now, men are not stupid. You know, as women, sometimes we think that men don't have sense. They do. I once told you in my video one time that men are givers. They give. And a man knows that when he gets married, he's giving his property, he's giving his life, he's giving his security to a woman. So a lot of men are not married, not because they are not ready, but because they have fears. Many men are afraid. Because a lot of you women don't have anything to offer. Men are givers by nature. But they become scared when they are not sure of the woman that they are giving their life, their property, their income, their resources to. No matter how men want to pretend, men live for women. Everything a man is working for is for a woman and her children. So a lot of men are afraid. Who do I give this investment? Who is worth it? Men are givers. Their work is to give. No matter how they want to fight, no matter how they want to argue, no matter how they want to cry, their work is to give. If a man does not give you, he will give somebody else. God has built men to give, but a lot of men are afraid. That is where marriage comes in. This woman I'm giving this thing to, how far? The question is, are you a keeper? Are you worth giving? Have you built yourself to the point that somebody can entrust something in you? It's not about shouting, marry me, marry me, we have been having sex. Marry me, marry me, we were there for five years. I told you before, men are not stupid. That's why when it gets to marrying a woman, you know that men are not stupid. <laughs> that is why when it gets to marrying a woman, they will leave that slay queen and go and marry that girl. You say, ah, now this man, this man, now this woman, this man, marry. Yes, they are not stupid. Though. Men, it's when it comes to marriage eh, and decision making of future, you know that a lot of men are not stupid. They are not as stupid as we think that they are. They are not. Though. That is why you will date them for 10. They will not still marry you. That man that you think that is a maga, he will not still marry you. How is that when he now reach marriage to marry you is hard? He will still marry you. Why? It's because he's afraid. You're not a keeper. A lot of you women are not keepers. If he entrusts this thing to you, can you keep it? That's why I said, because we have started sleeping with men for free, washing their clothes for free, cooking for them for free, and even having children for them for free. For them to now marry you, what else can you give? Since you have given all the marital rights, those things you're supposed to do in marriage, you've done it in relationship. What is the reason why this man should marry you? That's the more. For a man to marry, you have to make him ready. Yes, you can make a man ready. There are some men that never thought about marriage and they met a particular woman and they would desire marriage. Yes. A lot of men can bear me witness in the comment section. You never dreamt you were going to marry. But it's this girl you met and you say, ah, <laughs> we move to the altar. You have to give people reason to make decisions. There are some things you never plan to do and you meet a certain people and you do it. They made you ready. There are, some, there are some boundaries you never believed you were going to cross. Somebody made you cross it. Marriage is the easiest decision any man can make. It's so easy for a man to marry. Very easy. So when I see women saying, it's not possible, it's not possible, I'll just be smiling. You feel it's not because you've given so much. I know a lot of you are waiting and saying, blessing, tell me now. Tell us how to make a man ready. Tell us how to make a man ready. What have you done for yourself? Everything a man will give you when he marry you, can you keep it?
Women are collectors and women are keepers. Men are givers. Everything a man will give you when he marry you, can you keep it? Abby, you just want... You know, the problem is a lot of women want marriage. They don't want to stay married. Many men want to stay married more than women. If there is anybody that wants title, marriage title, is women. Men actually want to marry and stay married. It is women that just want to marry for title. Mostly women, I'm telling you now. That's the honest truth. A lot of men want to marry and stay married. A lot of women want to marry for marrying sake. To pepper their friend. To pepper Instagram. To say, oh, finally I made it. I'm in a man's house. A lot of women are not marrying for the right reasons. It's tied to for a lot of them. Oh, finally I don't marry like others. The question is, are you a keeper? If you show a man that you are a keeper, he will marry you. It's not by being desperate. It's not by paying a man's bill. It's not by doing all those nonsense people are doing. A desperate woman is different from an intelligent woman. Making a man ready is different from forcing a man to be ready. Because when you want to force a man, sometimes you go and hold him with belly. Now, belly not walk again. If you want to force a man, sometimes you must marry me. You must marry me. Some of you have gone diabolical. That is why a lot of men marry women that we least expect. You'll be shocked. Jesus. So now this person being wife. Eh, now she. Are you a keeper? Many of you are opening your ear waiting for how to make a man ready to marry you. Are you a keeper? The funniest part is that you want a man to marry you when you are going to marriage to do nothing. The way I just said how to make a man marry you, all of you rushed into this live video to know how to make a man marry you. If he marry you, what are you going to do there? Apart from the title, you have rushed to know, oh, make we hear what's in blessing, see you won't talk, how to make a man marry you. What are you going to do there? I'm asking you now. Nothing. You just desire the title. You think men are foolish. They're not foolish. Are you a keeper? If you're a woman that is a keeper, you will never beg for marriage. Men are not stupid. No matter how crazy a man can be, no matter how randy a man can be, no matter how confused they can be, they're not that stupid. Though. A lot of men want to marry, but they are scared. Because a lot of you women don't have anything to offer. You just want marriage. You don't know jack about marriage. So a man can marry you. Marrying you is not the problem. After all, a lot of men have been feeding you. Why can't they marry you? A lot of men have been paying your school fees and carrying your responsibility. What is there to marry you? A lot of men have been paying your bills, but they don't want to marry you. There are so many men that are paying your bills, doing everything, but they don't want to marry you. They have what it takes to marry you, but they don't want to marry you. Why? You're not a keeper. Some of you are just desperate. And a desperate woman is a woman that does not understand where she's going to. Because when you are desperate, you don't even know where you are going to. Somebody said in the comment section, yes, I'm a keeper. If you are a keeper as a woman, you will not look for a man. They'll find you. If you're a keeper as a woman, you'll be busy with your life. You will not be desperate for marriage. The man will come. A lot of women who are desperate for marriage are women who are not keepers. They just want title. For you to be a keeper, you must be a futuristic woman who can look beyond now and look at the future. For you to be a keeper, you must have prepared yourself. For you to be a keeper, you must have invested in yourself. For you to be a keeper, you must have planted in yourself. Because when you're a keeper, they will give you something and you will invest it. If you're a keeper, you will not be waiting for a man to come and give, give, give you. A lot of you that are waiting for men are hungry women. If you're a keeper, you'll be busy with yourself. Your man will find you. 
Women who are keepers don't look for marriage. Men, come. Because you're busy with your life. You're investing in yourself. You're putting in work what you're going to give the man when you marry. Some of you don't have anything to give. Yes, you can make a man ready to marry. Men are not afraid of marriage. Sorry, men are ready for marriage, but they are afraid. So for you to make people, help, for you to help people make decisions, you have to first of all conquer their fears. You know, there's something a lot of women don't understand. I want you to pay attention. In this part of the world called Africa, we have been brainwashed to believe that men are so strong, but they are not. Men are the softest people mentally, but unfortunately, the society have built men not to be expressive. So a lot of men have a lot of fear inside of them that they cannot express. It's only a woman that can conquer that fear for them. Who told you a man doesn't want companion? Men want companion even more than women because men need women more than men. Men need a woman more than a woman needs a man. All men just do go and marry, go and marry. All those ones is just projection. They are just trying to show ego. They are just trying to make you feel like we need them. Men need us more. They have fears inside of them. So much fears about marriage. Men fear marriage past women. I say men are more scared of marriage than women. It is women that want marriage, not men. If you leave men, they will not marry. If you leave them, they will not marry. Not because they don't want marriage, but because fear. Hi. All these things I have worked for all my life, who will I give it to? All this struggle I have struggled from the age of 14 to the age of 40, who will I give it to? Who will I entrust it to? Especially successful men. Poor men are not even afraid to marry. Poor men are happy to marry because they don't have anything to offer you. Successful, responsible men have more fears getting married than poor men. Poor men, you are even the one that will sponsor the wedding. That's why when they are poor, they are quick to marry you so that you can be feeding them. A responsible man who has made money. Now they fear marriage pass. That's why you see a lot of rich bachelors everywhere. Because they will say, oh God, all this my sweats. Hi, hi, hi. Who? Who will I entrust it in? Onye? Who? 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 Let me remain single for two more years. I might find the woman that has sense. Why do I say you can make a man marry you? It's easy. The easiest thing you can do is to make a man take you to the altar. But the reason why it has not happened is because a lot of you women don't have so much to offer. You're not ready. Now this is what you're going to do now as a woman. If you want to get married. The difference between me and every other therapist is because I tell you the honest truth. And when I tell you the honest truth, it might be a short process. Do you know why Kayamata sellers are selling fast? It's because they give you something to leak. If I give you this thing now, this is grape. This is just grape. Grape. If I give you this grape now, put it in this cup. You come to my office. And you tell me, blessing, I want to get married. I'll tell you, okay. Take this grape. You say, yes, ma. Put 10 seed inside this cup. Yes, ma. Pour cold water. Yes, ma. Allow it to be cold. Leave it for like 10 minutes. Yes, ma. After 10 minutes, filter the water. Yes, ma. After filtering the water, call the name of the man three times. Namdi, namdi, namdi. Pick one of the grapes and eat them. After eating it, 
wait for 25 days. Within that 25 days, go and build yourself. Within that 25 days, do this, do that. This same thing I'm telling you, what I'll tell you. You will still follow these instructions. And when it works for you, you think that it's this grip. Do you now see why people give you things to leak and things to eat? The difference between me as I'm not giving you anything to leak. I'm only showing you the real life guidance. But some of you are so daft. If people don't give you something to leak and eat, you don't have sense. That's the bet of Kayamata. Someone will tell you to go and lick honey. Your husband will love you. Are you kidding me? They are simple guides to life. Very, very simple. And as a woman, it's easy to learn. But some of you are so closed-minded. Because your minds are so closed, you can't get anything. You can't even get a man. Until you open up your mind before men will come. Some of you use a particular pattern. Let me teach you what is called pattern. Pattern is when you are doing something like this. Your first relationship like this. Your second relationship like this. Your third relationship like this. Because you're following the same pattern, you will always get the same result. While you are doing like this and it doesn't work, do like this. If you do like this, it does not work. Do like this. You don't follow the same pattern. If you follow the same pattern, you're going to get the same result. If you want a man to marry you, first of all, you have to change your pattern. There's a pattern of men. There's a pattern that you always do in your relationship. You repeat the same pattern. You get the same result. If you switch your pattern, a man will marry you. So first of all, we're going to work on pattern. You know, somebody came to my inbox one time and said, Bless him. Like you always say. Relationship expert without relationship. I laugh. Some of you are going to be saying, hmm, blessing teaching us about marriage. She's not married. Before we continue, I want to answer that question that is going on in your mind. Hmm, see her. She tell us pattern, pattern, man, man. She no get man. And let me tell you something. Those things that is difficult for you to get is what is easy for us to get. That's why we don't even value it. The reason why I don't want a man as much as you do is because I know how to get them. The reason why man is so interesting to you is because you don't know how to get them. I'm like a hunter. If I want to catch an animal, it's very, if you're not a hunter, to catch one rabbit to be had. So that's the reason why when I hear you people say, blessing see you, you don't have no. If I want 20 men, I know how to get them. Maybe because I'm a hunter, that's why I don't value animals. You know how to get them. And I used to tell people that I don't want what you want. Some of you want marriage, but some of us don't. Maybe for now. Maybe because we know how to catch it. Maybe because we understand the gimmicks and the strategies of marriage. So we are cooling down. Some of you are ignorant about marriage. That's why for every time I say you can make a man ready, you are shocked. Because if you know so much about marriage, and bless you, no, know, come and tell you that you can make a man ready, it will not shock you. I saw some people saying it's not possible. It's because you don't know. You can make anybody ready to marry you. Be it man or be it woman. We are actually emphasizing on men because it's men that are the common. They're the ones that will come and marry you. It's not supposed to be strange. As a woman, you have that power to make any man you want marry you. The reason why you don't know how to do this is because you are giving so much. What was blessing saying? You don't knock, you don't cook, you have exhausted all your energy on a man. You don't have anything for yourself. Now, this is the psychology of it. Let me teach you a very simple psychology. If a man 
is coming to marry you. He's coming to marry you. What is the meaning of you? You is what you have inculcated in yourself. What you learned when you were single. What you put inside yourself when you were single. What you grew inside yourself when you were single. You. But some of you don't have a you. There's nothing inside of you. When I say how to make a man marry you, a lot of women are expecting me to just tell them, ah, the way to make a man marry you is just go to his house, clean his house, wash his shoes. Have you not been doing that? That's what you're expecting me to say. But the easiest way to make a man marry you is to be you. Go and develop yourself. Go and build yourself. When you build yourself, the only problem you're going to have is choice. Our problem at this level of our life is not men, it's choice. We have too many of them. Our problem is who we even choose. Let me the rest. Men are ready to marry you, but they are afraid. Because a lot of you women don't have anything to offer. You have offered them sex. You have offered them food. Some of you have given them children. I know of one man that told me that. He's in a relationship with a woman that has seven children for him. He has not paid a bride price. He has been with this woman for 12 years, I'll be 13 years. He has not paid a bride price. And I told him, ah, why you never marry her? And I said, I don't get money. I said, don't worry, I will give you money to go marry her. He said, no, if you give me money, I'll go start business. Person, I won't marry her for she don't burn five now. As a relationship therapist, one secret I want to tell you people this evening is the fact that men are not users like we think. Mm -hmm. Men are not that bad as we think. It's not as if they want to use us, women. But some of you women, the only thing a man can do with you is to use you. What did I say? So men did not, don't just want to use you. They did not plan. It's not as if they plotted. Mm -mm. Some of you women, the only thing a man can do is to use you. That's the truth. The easiest way to make a man marry you is to go and build yourself. Give him a reason. A man can only marry you when you give him a reason, a different reason. You have cooked, you have cleaned, you have knack. What other reason do you think a man should keep you in his house? Some of you can't even talk. You can't even, you're not even good company. I'm not judging you for knacking. You have knack. All of us, we are knacking. We are in this WhatsApp group together. <laughs> now that you have knack, you have cooked, you have cleaned, you have done all the wife material. Why should he not keep you in his house? So that's where work come. We, we made marriage difficult by giving what we are supposed to give in marriage and relationship. That's why it's hard for us. Now we have to be looking for something more now to give this man. Because you have given them. You don't feel. When I tell you build yourself, no. When I tell you don't do wife material for man, you say no. When I tell you close your leg, you say no. When I say okay, build. What do you want? You have given all the wife material. And you are still. Why, what, why do you want them to marry you? Why? You self, if it's you. So we have to go back to the drawing board. The work is tougher because everything where God says we're supposed to give for marriage, we don't give up for relationship. So you have to think of something more you can give a man. And that more is what you inculcate in yourself. That's why a lot of men don't get moved these days by sex or what you cook. There's a lot of chef. It's what is inside of you that is moving them. Are you a keeper? If this man come and meet you now, can he give you his life? Can he give you his wealth? 
Can you do something with it? Because some of you, you women, don't have anything to do with it. Just want to answer me, sis. So if you want a man to marry you, you must go back to the drawing board and make yourself a keeper. How do you make yourself a keeper? Go and build yourself. Now, any man that is coming to marry you, be marrying you, what is inside of you? You can make a man ready by the things you put inside yourself. Some men are not ready to marry. But when they see a wife, they know. I know of a man that never planned to marry. The day he saw his wife, he borrowed money to marry her. His friends were telling him, Jesus, I know a man that will never plan to marry, a bachelor. He had slay queens. If you see all his girlfriends, all his girlfriends are slay mamas. He has been a bachelor for four years. Very rich. He married his wife under three months. When he got married, all his girlfriends were shocked. They thought he would never marry. He was a bachelor that would tell you that. I don't want to marry you. Nanak. He was a chronic, and he was rich. He married his wife under three months. When he got married, the whole Lagos was shocked. Huh? Huh? So, so this guy can actually make a decision of marriage within three months. Three months, that's when he married. He betrayed her for three months and married her within three months. So they, they actually thought that he didn't have sense. This one, a playboy, no one marry. Any, any woman that came into his life would just say, ah, you know what I'm marrying, a playboy. But he married someone within, within three months. This man they thought was a joke. He's a but four years of bachelorship. No kind of woman when he never. And if you see the woman he married, you'll be like, all his girlfriends came for his wedding. They were like this. Because they all came to see the kind of woman he married. He married a woman that was out of all the league. They were not asking, what did you see in this girl? He said, she's a wife. She's my wife. And when he married that woman, he protected her from all those, all those slay queens. Three months. Not one, not two, not three, not four. When a man, that's the reason why a man would date you for ten years and marry his wife within six months. All those long, long dates, they keep you there. A man will keep it because he's not sure of you. That's why he'll keep it for 10 years and be wasting your time. When he's ready, it takes a man. Once a man say, I want to marry, nothing can change it. That's why I prefer men to want to marry. Because when a man wants to marry you, no Jupiter, no winch. The only time a man's decision is shaking is when you are desperate. When you are the one pushing him. But when a man says, I want to marry this girl, no Jupiter. And when he says he wants to marry you, he will protect you and back you up. From in-law, mother-in-law, father-in-law. It's not this nonsense people are doing. I have seen it. I have witnessed it over and over again. Trust me when I say so. So when you see me talking to women, eh? It could be like, say, I did like to attack women, eh? I'm a woman and I'm telling you that a lot of women don't have anything to offer. I am saying it with my full bloated chest. A lot of you don't have anything to offer. A lot of you just want title. Hey, how to make a man marry you? You have rushed to my Facebook live down to come and know. Oh yeah, what are you going to do in marriage? Remember, I, I, I did not say how to make a boy marry you. So if you're on this live video and you're dating a boy, please pack one step. We're talking about men. Who are men? Men are people who are ready to carry responsibility. Like I said, there are some men in your life that are dating you, that are taking care of you, but they don't want to marry you. They can pay your school fees. They can pay your house rent. They are, but you're like, why can't you marry? So, it's not taking care of you that is the problem. They can show that responsibility. There are men in your life that you call, oh, baby, I want to recharge car. Bing, bing. Baby, my house rent. Bing, bing. Baby, my mother is sick. Bang, bang. But they will not marry you. Those are the men you are wondering. Why is he not married? Those ones used to shock. I'm not talking about poor guys, though. I'm talking about men that are ready, that are responsible. You be like, why are they not married? They can't just, so they're not, they are not even running from responsibility. For you to say, okay, it's because they don't have money. No, they can't. In fact, they are shouldering your responsibility, but they don't want to marry you. That's the one that used to make a lot of women marvel. This guy get fire house now. He's doing well, he has a good job. He get good car. He's taking care of me. Why does he want to marry me? Those are the kind of men we're talking about, though. I'm not talking about small, small boys that are still struggling. I'm talking about men that are ready and you're wondering, this man is supposed to be married, but doesn't want to marry. <laughs> You'll not be wondering, not be juju be this, not be juju. 
No be juju. It's because some of you women, eh? Some of you women. Munawala. Obia. So. Me making this video is just to remind a lot of you women. I'm having this conversation because I want to like. I want to like remind you women that we have a lot of work to do. It's not all about desiring marriage. It's about working on yourself. So that when these men come, you'll be worth it. When I come out on Facebook and say, I don't want to show you how many men that want to marry me. It will look as if I'm bragging. It's not like I'm bragging with men that want to. If I show you how many men that say blessing, just say yes. It will look as if I'm bragging with men. No. Do you know why they all want to marry me? <laughs> you know why they want to marry me? <laughs> I learned so many things from my previous marriage. It was so easy for my ex-husband to let me go because I was doing nothing. It was so easy for my ex-husband to let me go because I was a girl without value. What was I even doing for him? I was just a normal little girl that he was happy, paying school fees and taking care of. I was just a girl. I didn't have anything to offer my ex-husband. The only thing I remembered offering my ex-husband was a child, was a son. Who was I to talk when I was with my ex-husband? He wouldn't have missed me. He didn't miss me. Because there was no impute, there was no impact, there was no value. I was just a small girl that he saw that he liked and married. So it's okay for him not to miss you. And that's what I'm teaching a lot of you people. There are some men that you will live their life and when you leave, they will shake, they will stagger. That's the kind of women I want to build. When, you're a woman, when the woman leaves your life, you will stagger, you go shake. You will go and say, ah, something come over here. There's a void, there's an empty space. We've given too much. We have all of us, we're all knocking, we're having sex today. What again? value whenever i talk about value is underrated but remember i told you on this video that men are not stupid like we used to think oh, they are not that stupid how you will know that the man is not stupid is when you reach marriage you know that that man that, that man that you think that is maga he has sense oh. he knows what he's doing oh. he knows how to select oh. if you are thinking he's stupid because he's dashing you money he's dashing you money because he can afford it is what they want to give you <laughs> you know, there's some women that think that when a man dash them money, the man is a man. Not lie. He's giving you what he can afford. So don't ever think that they are magas. Not lie. If you are that smart, why has you not married you? Hmm? If you baby oko, why has you not married you? Cause I never want to play happy families with you But I like having you around I'm fully 